Thank you, Mr. Moses, for that very thoughtful uh, introduction. As I begin, I would like to first thank our friends and family for sharing with us such a monumental achievement. And to the faculty and staff of Adobe, in no words can we describe the critical role you all have played in the past four years for making this day possible. And then the students. I have the honor and privilege in addressing you today. And just because I'm standing here, it doesn't make me different. It doesn't make me special. But we, we as a class of 2012, the biggest graduating class in Pasadena ISD history. That's different. That is special. Now, students, if you will, please look to your left and then to your right. There you go. The people that you're sitting beside. We've gone through some of those same struggles and sacrifices. Sacrifices like making it to homeroom on time, during tax week, or resisting the urge not to let senioritis get the best of us, even though it kind of did. And then never giving up, even when at times the workload, it just seemed impossible. Those same struggles, those same sacrifices we've experienced together to get here, to wear this, and to finish what seems like only yesterday, we just started. But with these sacrifices came goals and milestones, those that will last with us for the rest of our lives whether it be in athletics, in academics, in fine arts. And in memories, memories that not only have we shared, but memories that we've created. Doby football games with the lights glaring, the band, lariats, cheerleaders, and so many of us in the crowd. We made those nights. That, that atmosphere was us, and no one can ever take that away. But this accomplishment, the one where our closest friends and loved ones came to celebrate with us, is arguably one of the most significant in our lives thus far. Sitting here today, we have first-generation graduates. We have graduates that are continuing the legacy Graduates that are capturing the power of education in their lives once again. Now together, that makes one. Together, that makes us, the class of 2012. Now, throughout the years, I've ran this message in my head over and over. Trying to find the right words to say, the right speech to give, to leave us with a sense of hope and eagerness for the future. But the truth is, the future's scary. So how am I supposed to leave us with an aspiration for the road ahead? Well, I'll do it in two parts. First, dare I say it, we have to take another test. I, I, I cringe at the word test, especially now since we're graduating. But here's something that many of you may not know, is that I have the ultimate cheat sheet. Being our age, we want nothing more than freedom and independence, and not to be so constrained. And after receiving our diplomas and throwing our hats up in, well, we can still throw our hats up in the air, right? Yeah, okay. You just, you might not get them back, but that's okay, it, it doesn't matter. So, after receiving our diplomas and throwing our hats up in the air, we will be given the opportunity to take the test of life. Something that our parents and teachers have been preparing us for since such an early age. 
and it's now when we experience that self-reliance, that self-responsibility of being an adult. And if you don't test well, that's okay. Because many say that this certain test lasts a lifetime. And question one starts today. And everyone wants to pass, right? I mean, I know I do. But how? How do you pass the test of life? So to find the answer, I set off on a quest. Well, really it was more like a 10 minute drive to my grandparents' house, but nonetheless, it was still a quest. And there I asked the wisest man I knew, the most Yoda-like figure in my life, my grandfather. And I said, what's the secret? How do you pass the test of life? And ladies and gentlemen and students, today I have the answer. The answer is to do what you love and love what you do. No matter if it's a job, a hobby, continuing your education, or simply sharing the joy of life with your loved ones. Just make sure that you love doing it. Look at yourself in the mirror every morning and ask, is my heart and passion in it? And if the answer is yes, then you're on the right track. Use this mentality alongside the life lessons learned over the years of being a longhorn to guide you in the direction that you so choose. Remember the meaning of Dobie Pride and let the feeling run through your veins. Don't be proud to always finish what you start. To respect the differences of others, but remember that it's the similarities that bind us together. And that's something that this man, Mr. Jamal, has drilled into us. And Mr. Moses has kept that spirit alive. So for that, we cannot thank you both enough. Here in this room, this really, really big room, they watched us grow and grow over the years. And they've given us the tools and intellect that we need to make our own decisions. And this I cannot stress enough. When doing what we love, make sure that it's us and no one else. Living life through someone else's decisions Really, it's not living life at all. Everyone wants their finest quality of work to show. But the only way to ensure great work is to love doing it. Our journey of self-discovery starts today. We are the next generation, the next risk takers, the next idea creators. With life comes uncertainty. No one can possibly plan the events in their lives and how they'll unfold. But be true to yourself, because you won't know what comes next. But follow your heart and intuition, because somehow, some way, they know. They know the decisions to make to lead you on that road ahead. American innovator Steve Jobs once recited, that the people crazy enough to think that they can change this world are the ones who do. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys have heard, but the class of 2012, we're pretty dang crazy. So congratulations again, students, and let the Adobe Pride live on. Thank you, Thomas Ray. At this time, we would like to recognize our National Merit Award recipients. Would these students please stand as I call your name? Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. National Merit Commended Award recipients, Carol Tran, Eric Wilson. National Merit Scholarship 
winner, Eric Wilson. National Hispanic Scholars, Ivan Durantis, Aaron Dryden, Crystal Sosa, Tiara Hernandez. National Achievement Outstanding Participant, Taylor Marchetti Gaddison. Please give these students a big round of applause. Thank you. Before we proceed with this afternoon's ceremony, let me remind you that no photographers may enter the floor area. We ask that you take pictures from your seats or come down to the rail, take the picture, and return to your seat as quickly as possible. We also request that you show each other the courtesy of remaining in your seats until all graduates have crossed the platform. Members of the Board of Education, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to present the two